Hi, welcome to the video run Spring Boot project in command line. I am Nam Haming from Code Java.net. In details, you will learn how to configure, build and run a Spring Boot application in command line on Windows or Terminal on Mac or Linux. I suppose that you have an existing uh, Spring Boot project and you also have Java Element Kit, OpenJDK or Oracle JDK Maven and MySQL Server and MySQL Workbench uh, installed on your computer. Basically, here are the main steps uh, for running a Spring Boot project in command line. Firstly, you need to check the Spring Boot uh, configuration file. It is usually the application.properties file for database correction properties and server config such as context, path, and port number. And if the project requires a database, you need to create an empty database and then build the project using Maven and run the project as a Java application. Now let's open a new command prompt on Windows or Terminal on Mac or Linux and firstly change the current directory to the project directory. So I change the current directory to uh, this uh, project directory on App Drive. You see this is a Java uh, Spring Boot project and you can see the Maven build file prompt.xml here. That means this project is using Maven build. And then type Java dash version to see the version of Java. You see, I'm using uh, OpenZDK version 15 here. And also type MVN dash version to see the version of Maven. You see, I'm using Apache Maven version 3.8.1. And on Windows, you can type start dot to open the current directory in uh, Windows uh, Explorer, and you can see the Maven build file prompt.xml here. You can open it in a text editor, uh, such as a text pad here. And you see this is a Spring Boot project with the dependencies uh, Spring Boot Starter, Data JPA, Web, Timelip, Test, uh, Bootstrap, the Query, MySQL. Connector Java. This is a JDBC driver. That means uh, the application will connect to a MySQL uh, database and go in the SRC directory main or resources. And you can see the Spring Boot uh, application uh, properties file here. This is a, a Spring configuration file. And you can see in this application properties file it. Uh, specifies the port number is 80, context path uh, is slash or empty, and data source URL, username, and password here. So you may need to change uh, data source URL, username, and password according to the MySQL credentials. And it requires a database schema named uh, user DB here. So now let me Create a new database schema in my SQL Workbench. Here, click this button to create a new database schema with the name users db. Apply. Apply. Finish. Okay, so we've got a new database schema users db here and no tables at this time. Okay, now switch to the command prompt and to build the project type MVN. Install. You see, Maven Build is running to compile the Java code and uh, build the executable Java file for this uh, Spring Boot project. It may need to download some uh, dependencies. You see, build success, and you see it uh, building the uh, Java file here under the uh, project directory target and then the Java file name of the application here code java app version and dot jar here that means uh, you can run this uh, spring boot application by uh, executing this jar file so to run this uh, project uh, type mv and sorry type java dash jar and then uh, the executable the file here so i copy uh, you can specify the target directory here and then the java file name okay enter 
Okay, you see it is starting a Spring Boot application here. Yeah? You see the logging information. And you see uh, Hymnet uh, executed the SQL statements to create the user's table here. Yeah? And you see the last two lines uh, saying that Tomcat started on port number 80 here yeah, with the context part empty and the application started successfully. Now open the web browser. I use Chrome browser and now type HTTP localhost. Uh, you see, this is the home base of the uh, Spring application, uh, which is uh, running in the console here, in the command line here, you see. Okay, and let me check uh, the database here. Uh, refresh user DB. And you see a new table user got created here with these columns. And let me select rows from this table. You see the table is now empty. Now let me do some test. Uh, manage users. Add a new user. Ravi Kuma. Ravi Kuma. And click save. You see. The user has been saved successfully. And let me check in the database here. You see a new row got inserted here. That means uh, the uh, Spring Boot application is running uh, properly. And you see in the command line here, it uh, prints the uh, SQL statement for inserting a new row uh, into the user's table here. Insert into and select uh, rows uh, from the user's table. Here you see. And to stop uh, the application, uh, press Ctrl C in the command line. And you see uh, the application shut down. Okay, let me make some changes to the application uh, properties right here. Uh, for example, I want to change the server port number to 8080 and the context path is slash code Java. You see, yeah. Okay, save the changes and now I will build the project and run the application again. So type mvn install to build the project again. And it will generate the executable that file. You see, build success and it generated the executable that file under target directory here. And now to run this uh, Spring Boot application type Java dash Java and then the Java file name in the target directory. Okay. You see, it is starting. Okay, the application is up and running, and you can see now uh, Tomcat started on port number 8080. And the context part is slash code Java. That means now I need to access the application like this HTTP localhost port number 8080 and slash code Java. And you see, manage users, add another user, Johnny, Johnny dash, and click save. Successfully, you see. So that uh, that means uh, we have successfully configured, we run the uh, Spring Boot application in command line, and to stop, uh, rest Control C in the command prompt. You see, the application shut down. All right. So that you have learned how to build and run the Spring Boot project in command line on Windows or terminal on Mac or Linux. I hope you have found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.